Hey everybody, what's up? 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video, and today, coming at you with a video on an outgoing SGC sub. Um, I did not see this day coming, I did not see myself subbing to SGC again after I subbed in May of 2020, and I found it a little difficult to actually sell the cards, my profits weren't that great, but I have a new theory. I think the market climate has changed in such a way that SGC subbing is a lot, a lot better than it used to be. And yeah, we're going to get into it, the thinking behind it, the strategy, all of it. So drop a like, drop a sub if you're excited about this content, and let's get into it. So right now, sub small, only five cards. But we've got a couple different things going on here. We've got... First and foremost, uh, some of it's still in the mail, but this is so this some of the stuff's still coming, but it'll be in the sub. Uh, this is going to double almost as a mail day because a lot of the stuff I've been buying has been for this strategy, and it's been trying to implement a grade and flip on cards with very very few graded in hopes of seeing an amplified return. Okay, so the, obviously the price of the card needs to be decent enough to justify grading it, but. If there are cards that I think are iconic or cards that are notable, cards that go for a decent amount raw, but you just don't see them graded, grading them looks like a real opportunity to me, and it seemed to me to be a decent way to get money. So, what do we got? Well, first of all, we got these. Uh, there's another one coming in the mail. These, honestly, are a little tougher for me than I thought they were going to be, but this UD Canvas McDavid uh, also has Sidney Crosby on it. I think I was... There's a small imperfection with this one, maybe 9.5, but this one toes the line because it's like a $25 card probably if, you know, you pay 25 to sub it, but I figure in a 9.5, you know, you might be able to pull down like 75, 80 bucks just because it's not a graded, a card that's graded at all. You don't even see graded copies. So I figured it might be worth the gamble. This one's more fringe though. The price is a little low, but it's a nice card, a card that I believe in and a way that I'm enjoying uh, buying McDavid cards. I think I have three of these now, uh, and I'm always looking for more. Next up is this. I bought two more of these. You may recall I bought one a while back, a while back, couple months ago. Prices have come down like $100 each, so I got these for way less than my other one. Actually, one of these is the original, but I bought two more. So I kept the one that, one of them had a small surface imperfection, like on the flag, that one has been moved to the PC card. These two are nicer copies. These puppies are going off to SGC. Centering pretty good. Oddly enough, there's edge wear on like both of these. Just a tiny bit of like edge issues on this bottom edge. Which I, it doesn't make any sense to me because usually you don't see that. But these are cards that are well in the price range of an SGC sub being great. About 200 to 250 raw for these uh, right now. Nice cards. And, you know, I think that with so few graded, a 9.5 from SGC on these would be huge. I don't expect a 10. I am a little tough when I scrutinize cards to send off. So it's possible I'm harder than they are as grading. But I think one of these has a chance of a 9.5, 10. The other may 9 and 9.5. But those grades, I think, and at that price point, a $25 investment to one, get a slab. And two, get a potentially high grade. Very, very worth it. Also, slab makes it a lot easier to sell than raw. And at that price point, you get into the range where $25 is kind of a no-brainer. Especially with SGC having decent turnaround times. I've heard people almost always sub two months door-to-door. -door. That's great. And I really like that as a as a good way. On a card like this that has white borders, you know, that you can buy. They're going to look pretty good usually in hand. But there aren't a ton of them graded. This is a nice play. I'm excited to get these out. The next up is kind of that I've been waiting for PSA to open, but with the, I think what express is like 150 right now. That's the cheapest level they have. Most of the stuff that I have is not viable to be sent. So SGC became appealing. It was cheap. And I thought maybe I'll just keep waiting for a PSA to open. But some of the stuff I was like, there's no point in waiting anymore. Like also if it looks nice in the tux, that's kind of where I got with this. Thunderclap Griffey. I respect the way SGC grades vintage cards. This is, I, I guess this is pre-modern maybe is what I should call this. I think this will look nice in the black slab too. But this card has potential to 9 probably. 
Yeah, probably a nine potential. Very, very clean though for this card. And this card looks exceptional. So honestly, this card, I just would like to get it slabbed, get it protected. I'm excited to get that one out. I think it'll really boost its value over raw too, to have that one slabbed. Next up, just because I was interested, figured it might be worth a try, this black box Luca. Made it, make it easier to sell if I ever want to sell it. Condition, honestly, pretty good for the black box. Obviously, it has all black borders, very condition sensitive. Stock is a little thicker. But yeah, I am very excited to see what this can do. I think this is a 9, uh, potentially, which I think is honestly a very good grade for this card. I'd be very happy with a 9. I think it would make it a lot easier to sell, too. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of what we got. The reason I feel comfortable sending this stuff to SGC is because I think SGC has more traction than it used to have. They've been grading a lot of cards. There are plenty of cards higher end than these that are in SGC slabs. That helps the brand. The turnaround time's good. And even if it doesn't sell as easily as PSA sells, the fact that it sells easier than it used to is huge. And at $25 to get that kind of a service on stuff, especially these cards, even this Griffey, Honestly, all four of these, this McDavid Crosby is a little more of a gamble. On these four, it's just a no-brainer type play for me right now, especially with PSA's price not coming down uh, in the foreseeable future that we can see. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that. Just wanted to show you what's going out the door. We're going to test it out at SGC. Uh, I'll let you all know when it comes back. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Root for me. Drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll catch you all next time.